Someone recommended this movie, I want to say almost a year ago now. I have not forgotten about it. It's just been living up here, rent-free, the entire time. Just haunting every decision I've ever made. Honestly, the blurb has me very intrigued um, just by Amber dreams of moving to London. Tag yourself, Amber. You and me both. But before we get started, I do want to take a quick moment to talk about today's sponsor, Squarespace. As most of you guys already know, Squarespace is the all-in-one website platform for entrepreneurs who want to stand out and succeed online. Whether you're just starting out or you're already managing a growing brand, Squarespace makes it incredibly easy to create a beautiful website, engage with your audience, and sell anything. From products to content to time, all in one place and all on your own terms. With their guided design system called Squarespace Blueprint, you can choose from professionally curated layout and styling options to completely personalize a website that you'll love. You can build your online presence from the ground up and tailor it to your brand or business and it'll be optimized for every device. You can upload video content, organize your video library, and showcase your work on beautiful video pages. And their integrated SEO tools mean that you and your content will show up more often to more people so that you can grow the way you want. Honestly, with Squarespace, you can make your idea, brand, or business stand out online. So if you want to build the website of your dreams, you can go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And then once you've created your website and you're happy with it and you're ready to launch, you can go to squarespace.com slash fictional darling to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. A huge thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. And now let's watch Dating Amber. Also, I know my hair is a bundle of frizz. Um, that's my fault. I went outside. And now I am living with the consequences of that decision. <laughs> this is free, so that's neat. Oh, his hood. The sheep! There are people out here who just live life and there are sheep. Sheep to brighten their day. Jesus Christ! That's terrifying. Ah! 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 Y'all, I feel like this is a little dangerous with the sheep even. Should we not save the sheep as well. Yes, the bikers are important, but what about the sheep sitting there? They're gonna be terrified. It's live ammo? Live it's ammo. Live ammo? <laughs> the sheep are there. Head empty, no thoughts, just vibes. Just music and good times. That's all you need. Amber, what's for lunch? Carpet? Not today. Your mom's gonna shampoo. They hit us with that immediately. Obsessed with Amber. But yo, dude, chill. Do you have a shift yet? Hey, no. Come on, you have to like someone. No, actually, you don't. Tracy. Wait, so. Oh dear. This is mortifying. Embarrassing. I just, uh, pass away now. Now you're gonna be judged for all eternity. She said yes! Oh, jeez, y'all. Grace! Yay. Oh, yeah. No, that's it. Yeah, no, that is it. This is literally just as painful as the scene in But I'm a Cheerleader. Did you see that show last night, My So Called Life? It's good. She dyes her hair in the, in the, Shut in the first episode. I feel so bad for him. I feel so bad for him. No. No. I am like actually like. Ooh. Oh, that was. Magical. Great. So great. Oh. Oh, would you look at that? Stupid. We ran out of time. Bell. That was painful. For all involved, including us. Number four on page six. Hey, go How come we didn't touch Tracy's boob? Oh, oh wait. yo, yo, yo. We're learning about standard deviation right now. I, I am not a lesbian. <laughs> Except for every hour of the day. Your dad would be so proud of you. Do you want to stay home tomorrow? The school will understand. Could light a candle. I was like, oh wow, what an amazing mom. Mental health day. And then <laughs> it kept going. I was like, oh dear, oh no, oh my. The horrors. Okay, you're gonna get out of here. You are going to London. I believe in you. Fully. Can you, um, do a chin-up yet? Ian. What? There's more to life than chin-ups. Not in the cadets exam. Tag yourself. There's more to life than chin-ups is unfortunately an iconic line. And I wish this movie was like a cultural phenomenon so that people could just be walking around with that on a t-shirt. Because that's so funny. If I put that on a t-shirt, do you think people would get the reference? A Eddie shifted a girl today. I'm starting to think shifted means kissed. That's good. Coming a man. See? No, we didn't have to worry. Not that we didn't have to worry. They said the first 10 minutes we were setting this scene. These kids are drowning in homophobia. And it's oh. killing me already. Oh. Is this... You are so lucky that wasn't live ammo. I'll go out with you. What? <laughs> she sat there on that bench and she said, I have a plan. I've thought it all through. This is gonna solve our problems. Kathleen Hanna is proper punk. 
Have you heard them? I have not, but I believe you. So why do you want to join the fascist war machine? What? Oh, to escape his entire life. Next question. What else can we do? Oh, that was like the tiniest, smallest little line, and it was so profoundly sad. No? What the hell what are you doing? I don't know. I thought did. I, I did. You were gay. Gay for boobs. No. So am I. Y'all are in this boat together. We pretend to go out just to get everyone to leave us alone. I am down for it. Great plan. I'm not ready for a Eddie, serious relationship. Just forget I said anything. I think that'd be best. You go home and think about it, and then realize she's brilliant and get on board. I'll be your boyfriend. Pretend boyfriend. Pretend right. real boyfriend. And it's just till school is over. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> or yeah. Or longer. He said actually for the entirety of my life. Thank you so much. Into the No, that's so excessive. Y'all are in class. This poor math teacher doesn't want to deal with this. No, I always thought you two were benders. Kev. That's it. Principal's office. That should have been like two days ago. He should have been gone two days ago. This is why I'm not a teacher. I love how they're matching. Her coat matches his backpack. This is gorgeous. This is beautiful. The minute school is over, I am out of here. I believe in you. This place will kill you. Oh, and if her dad actually did kill himself, like... Oh, this poor girl. I'm going to open an anarchist bookshop, but with franchise potential. I love her dreams. I love her. Did she find her dad hanging? Not the time, Ian. Right. That's terrible. Uh, how did the fitness test go? That's such a good script. Because they let us know what was happening, and we were like, we don't need to know anything else. But then they were like, let's drop in exactly what happened. I love the writing. Could you imagine if the common and son didn't make the cut? <laughs> Never live it down. That's the type of pressure that really weighs on somebody, sir. I mean, of course I would. It's too late. The words have come out of your mouth. You can't walk them back. Yeah. Okay. Ah! I hate that we all had to witness that. Now, have you decided what you'll do next year? Uh, study English or history or politics or maybe work for a zine. Work for a zine. <laughs> That's interesting. Eddie, you might want to think about that as a choice. I'm joining the army. But consider zine making. It's a lot more fun and less deadly. Oh my god. I am in love with the landscapes. She's gonna get out of here. You can get out of here too, buddy. You could go with her. We could road trip. You can be men or you can be telephonists. Huh? He's kind of giving skinny Steve. Come on. Don't give up yet. I've already given up, personally. You know someone going to London. The rent will be cheaper if you guys share it. So let's just jump ship. Oh no, don't tell me that's where her dad... Oh, that's heartbreaking. That's horrible. We were having a good time. You had to put that in the middle of the movie? They said yes, it wasn't just scene setting, actually. It's greatly impacted her character, as it would. And so it will be greatly impacting you guys, too. People think he must have been miserable, but he wasn't. This place killed him. If it makes you feel any better, I think I'm gonna fail the cadets. And that was... <laughs> how would that make her feel better? The way this place killed him and she's like, I'm not letting it kill me, I'm getting the heck out of here. Come on, let's go. We have school. We're going to Dublin. Oh. Like, once more, imagine just being able to get on a train and be in a city. Living the life, y'all. What? It was like a homing beacon. <laughs> they were like, yes. Thank you, finally, community. Woo! Well, I wish Never once I in my entire life have I ever walked that close to a stage. <laughs> He said, I will be perceived today. I'm aware he's having a life-changing moment, but regardless of the life-changing moment, you are very visible. What life must be like if you don't have social anxiety? Wonder that every day. <laughs> We're on the stage, guys. Do you realize that you're on the stage? We are now on the stage. This is very much so like a after the performance, you catch them as they're like, you know, at the bar or mingling or whatever, and you say, hey, I love your performance. Can you give me some tips for how to live my life? You don't get on the stage. <laughs> Never in a million years. You okay, baby gay? Do you know me? <laughs> this kid does not have social anxiety at all. He just got right on that stage. This is Sarah. She's Sarah. German Hi. at Trinity. You both know who else spoke German though. 
Hitler. I am convinced this kid has never interacted in a public environment, ever. If you looked up killing the mood in the dictionary, it's a picture of you. What was that? Why was that? Were you with Amber? Yeah. Hey, but don't worry, I won't give you a hard time. Just about every other aspect of your life I'm giving you a hard time about, but not this, because you're conforming. What would your father say? I think he but would. But he won't get an opinion if you kill yourself. That was harsh. Did shut down that convo, though. I don't know how you live that one down. I think that's just gonna drive a wedge between y'all. So I was thinking about what you said, about me going to London with you? I mean, I suppose I could make room, but you'd have to pull your weight. You gotta bring the bone folder and the paper in the zine making. I hope he ends up on that train to London with her. I need it for me. Remember, if I wasn't your father, you'd be dead right now. Can we free this kid? I understand it's training. But that is just a lot of like question marks, alarm bells ringing, what are we doing? be the cover of one of the zines though. <laughs> you know what I made a joke about him bringing the bone folder in the paper? He's bringing the art skills. He's an illustrator. This zine is gonna be top-notch. Here, I got these instead of a tenor. I don't know. I, You're driving. I, I, no. Oh god. I cannot watch you do this and then possibly end up back in the car. Why? If you're not comfortable doing it, don't do it. Obsessed with them being able to feel free. We literally have not seen her this happy. Come here, my girlfriend. She's out there. We're moving to London. Right, so. <laughs> I'm so sad, but obsessed with how he said it. This, this is the backstory. This is the lore. If you move to London, I feel like you could be so free. Although, I, theoretically, they're in Dublin right now. So you'd be free in Dublin too. Who is that? Oh, the fuck off me. Oh my god. Oh no. The trauma. That poor guy did not need to be hit. No, don't point me, oh, oh, she just jumped the bouncer. He probably feels like the world's ending, literally right now. You just left me alone in there. What happened? Well, he was having the greatest five seconds of his life and then the absolute worst five seconds of his life back to back. I love that they're actually genuinely friends throughout this. Y'all really only have each other. Are we not gonna punish him? I think life is punishment enough, really. If you're absent six months of the year, then you can have a say. That was a very unfortunate, yikes. Eddie. Oh, he's taking his glasses off. That's how you know it's serious. Or he has a headache, but presumably this is just getting serious. I do love how supportive his brother is though. They said, yes, this kid is very isolated and alone from his peers. And Amber is just about the only friend he's got and the only person he can count on. But you know what, his brother's still there too. Eddie, where's Amber? Love how we ask him. Hey, uh, she's not feeling well. Is she okay or? Okay, we don't need to be airing her medical history to the entire math class right now. Period stuff. Oh, okay, thank you, thank you very much for that. Sir, I just feel like if you're asking about your students, you gotta be prepared for any situation. Your mom no. Oh, <laughs> right now, God. She'd order an exorcism. I just am obsessed with Sarah's whole vibe. <laughs> the red, the glasses, it just, she's rocking it. Miss Keenan? Mrs. Oh, sorry, I thought because your husband's dead. You can keep the missus. Keep the missus. This kid once more has never interacted with a human being. I'm giving him so much shit for it, but I too cannot speak to people, so I understand, sir. <laughs> I love them so much. I feel like that happiness is just like visceral. Y'all, why when you lie to me, is there not more hype about this movie? This movie deserves so much more hype. Not everyone is made for the army. You can do it. You don't need to prove anything to him. You don't have to prove anything to yourself either. You're good the way you are. Love you. Oh. No one can hear you. He meant it platonically. You're his best friend. This isn't what you want. I mean, I don't want to speak for you, buddy, but is it what you want? Same. This is actually the vibe. It got even more vibey. I said that when he was just sort of like depressed and sitting at a graveyard and then he's <laughs> reading the second sex. Uh, he is the icon. Perfect afternoon. Oh my gosh. Not this. Not the slow zoom out. Just to be like, yes, look how alone he is. He's so alone. He only has dead people. Please. Oh my God. Don't ruin this. 
y'all can still be friends. Sorry, Eddie. Can you still be friends if your fake relationship breaks up? I need to see this kid heading to London. Like, they can't not be friends. Please say something. Don't tell me you just... That you're... Told her. Oh. Gay. I don't know what your father would say. I don't think you need to keep bringing him in. I think we need to figure out what you would say, ma'am. Like, what are your thoughts? Y you are a person. You are an individual who has opinions and thoughts. And they're valid. Unless you're about to be homophobic, in which case they're not valid. <laughs> He's not here. And you are. It's just us. So maybe you say that you love your daughter or you might not be in her life for much longer. I'm not going anywhere. I thought we were going to London. Okay, we got a little handhold. Oh shoot, <laughs> why is the handhold making me emotional? It was just a little handhold, but it said so much. Eddie. Just get the hell out of my way, dyke! Uh-uh, uh-uh, not with only 20 minutes of this movie left. No, I know where you are mentally, sir. And I know you're gonna regret that comment when you go home and you lie in bed that night. But no, no, no. You don't get to take the violence that's been imparted on you and imparted on others. Don't you dare. We like you, kid. I'm rooting for you. You should really be more sensitive. You, Kev, think that I should really be more sensitive? What the actual- <laughs> He's feeling like his whole future is up in smoke. You don't have to choose the future that your parents chose for you, first of all. Second of all, you can get out of this. No. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, shit. That was a lot. That was a lot. That was a lot. That was that was too much. Too much. Too much. I've got a, a 30 year mortgage with a lady. Yeah, yeah. I've got a 30 year mortgage. It's not funny. I'm just laughing because it was so painful, you know? Ugh. Ugh. She has amazing aim. You just join the regiment and stay here and be miserable. It's better than me, a faggot. No. He had like five seconds of happiness. You don't have to push it down. You just gotta get out of this town. I did not mean for that to rhyme. Y'all, you guys can still get to London together. She's out here genuinely like full force heading into the future and I don't wanna leave him behind. She's reached out so many hands to help him up. He's like so entrenched in everything he grew up with. Oh. <laughs> Shit. I mean, like, truly, love this for her. Just because we feel, you know, doesn't mean that we have to be. Right. No, that's not the energy we're putting out here, guys. We can just move on and live a normal life. Is anyone else like, I am playing good luck, babe, in my head right now? <laughs> I think you could still... Someone needs to get her into something for like throwing rocks. Cause her aim is perfect. Is that a sport, throwing rocks? The thing is though, kid, like if you didn't listen to your music so loud, maybe she wouldn't have to toss an entire rock at you. It's kind of a you problem. Once more, I have no tissues. I have a paper towel. Here, it's over 2000. It is enough to get out of here. Oh no. This place will kill you. She can't lose you. Please, Eddie, just take it. You can't be who you need oh to be here. You should come with me. You have to do this on your own. But what if we all went to London together? It'll be great. I taught you well. He's only had half a semester of training. What if you guys both moved to Dublin? I'm gay. <gasps> you are the only boy in the world. I'm glad I dated. <laughs> Go. Oh my god, all he's got is what he packed for camp. <laughs> I feel like he's leaving so much at home. He's gonna go make a future for himself. The case the word bookstore. They'll hire you. They'll hire you. It's like this leads into the Pride movie, except it can't, because I just realized that was set in the 80s. <laughs> it's a big part of it. She put the whole underground map in there. Do you guys even have each other's numbers, email addresses? How are you guys gonna meet up? The breath. He took a breath. I do also love how they're like, next up, bottoms. Were you just crying your eyes out? Maybe you need something to cheer you up. That was so emotional. Why are more people not talking about this movie? <laughs> that was so good. And it's free. It's free. It's a free movie. More people need to be talking about this film, like right now. Thank you for recommending this because this was so good. I loved this. She didn't return the I love you when you said it, but she does because she literally gave you her out. $2,000? 2,000 pounds? I hope that can buy a lot more in 1995 than it can today because that's about 
Is that even a month of rent in London? <laughs> but I feel like in 1995, hopefully that gets him set up for a few months. He's got his whole future ahead of him. Amber was building her future right then and there. And she and Sarah were having a whole moment. She's not alone. He's gonna go find himself and then he's gonna meet up with Amber later and they're gonna be chill. They're gonna be like best friends, hopefully. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you had a good time watching this with me and I will see you guys for the next one. See ya.